I'm Rebecca Robeson. Welcome to Robeson Design. And today is such a big day for me. The day has finally come. I've been working on this for a long time. This is what we refer to as the beach house. Clearly, this is an absolutely amazing location right on the sand. Now this house, get this. It's only 2,000 square feet. That's not a very big house, but you know what it has? Five bedrooms and three bathrooms in only 2,000 square feet. Do you know what that tells me and what it should tell you? Rebecca had to do some serious magic in this place because these rooms are so tiny. For those of you who like tiny space videos, you're gonna get a two for here. You're gonna get the beach house and all its glory and a bunch of tiny space bedroom decorating ideas. So join me as I show you the before pictures before we enter every single room and then what I did to make it absolutely magical. Follow me. We essentially pretty much gutted it and started all over. Brand new wood flooring. I went with a eight inch wide plank and it's hardy. It's actually the color of sand. I did that on purpose because I wanted the client not to feel like it was too precious. I want it to be earthy and they can use it every day no matter what their condition. They can even sit on the sofa in wet bathing suits if they want to. So what do you think? Is this amazing or what? Clearly so much airier and brighter and lighter. And actually, I think that the room looks larger. What do you think? This used to have an L-shaped sofa. Now I have arched sofas on either side, a direct shot, and guess what? Total symmetry as your first impression when you walk into this room. You might ask yourself, Rebecca, why in the world did you specify off-white fabric on those sofas? I'll tell you why. These sofas are made with this new fabric, a new technology. It's called Perennials Fabric. You can actually pour red wine on these sofas, and then you can take a bottle of spray bleach and bleach them down. It won't change the texture or the look of the fabric. I cannot tell you how proud I am of this whole bar thing. My shelves in this whole great room are spectacular. Oh my gosh, plastic stemless glasses. You could drop these. Yeah, and they, they roll. I mean, you can play games with them. I'll, I'll wash this one and not put it back in the basket. This table itself has a live edge. Now we had a urethane finish put on the top of it so that it is bulletproof. I mean, they can literally, uh, they could use it as a slip and slide if they wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it, but they could. And this kitchen, oh my gosh, from what it was before, we opened up this opening. That alone made such a big difference. This is what they call a galley when you have it long on one side and long on the other and it doesn't connect on either end. This is the most efficient kitchen that you can have, I think. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingabobs? I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. This is our pantry. Now my daughter Shara and her assistant Elena did all of the organizing. Wouldn't you want to live in a place like this? Now, over here, some sea salt. And I didn't get it out there, I swear. We bought it. And then up here, we've got some of our daily use spatulas that just look great hanging there. And, um, and it goes perfectly 
with our countertop and all of the other tile. I'm gonna go, you know, get rid of that. I used a subway tile that is not completely smooth and flat and shiny. It's actually a matte finish. And you'll notice I went all the way to the ceiling because that's what we call in the design sessions. Do I hear you, class? What do we call it? It starts with an F and it ends with a W. And there's an LO in the middle of it. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Now for my favorite part, the bedrooms. Let's go. Kind of scary. Doesn't it look so small? The room's nine feet wide. We kept with the twin bed idea, but I worked my magic and made it look as big as possible. Fixed up the closet, changed the colors. Well, I guess I kind of did a lot. Take a look at GB1. Wow, what a difference, right? Just some texture on the wall that looks like reclaimed wood. Three amazing pendant lights. It almost looks like the water that comes up on the beach and it's, you know how it's like got bubbles in it or foam and then it comes back, that's what that looks like. One large piece of art here and three small pieces here. I've got some great wallpaper on the walls. And you'll notice on the floor, this amazing Dury rug. I love this rug. It's very tight woven, so it's nice and flat to the ground. Perfect for sandy locations. White linen window treatments. Each room has window treatments. So now there's a mirror on this door. That's cool to have, right? Full length mirror. Pocket door instead of a slamming door. And inside, a really nice closet. KD did all of our closets for us, and you'll notice one of my signature things that I'm really into these days is having shelving that has lighting in it. If you were staying here, what would you likely want to do? Let's say you came in from Iowa. You might want to send mermaid kisses to your Aunt Juliet. Yes, and there's already a postcard stamp on the back. Not kidding. GB1, check. Let's go take a look at GB2. Well, this room sure made a change, didn't it? The bed was against this wall. So when you open the door, uh, you were lucky to miss the nightstand. Here was your bed, but also you could kind of see everybody when you were in bed out that door. Kind of not so private. So now you've got two nightstands with all the accoutrement inside and probably my favorite part of this room are these light fixtures. Summer rain and then came fall. Now you can see the use of the white linen bedding just like we did in GB1. But in here, instead of having the blues and the greens, it's all neutrals, flaxes, even soft grays. You just left and said goodbye. This photograph by Mia Del Casino. It's a, interesting, I met her during this project because I fell in love with this in a small format. So I contacted her, I said, can you make this thing huge for a wall? And she said, absolutely. We've kind of become friends through this whole thing, but look at this. Isn't this just so calm and peaceful? It's called Laguna Seafoam. We have roller shades back here. We even have a hydraulic system that opens these windows. Some of them might look a bit like you. And then in, in this closet, we have a medium hang height. And instead of putting, making this long hang, cause it's a beach house, right? I mean, how long are your clothes? I created this and designed this whole built-in to have a luggage storage. No, nothing in this world compares to you. I mean, it's just a lucky guess, right? But which bedroom do you think I'm gonna to go to next? How about GB3? Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
This is the room I like to refer to as my surf bedroom. Yes, I did put in floor to ceiling, wall to wall mirrors in this room too. And oh my gosh, what a difference it makes. This room looks like, like it, it look, well, 99 is eight, it looks 18 feet wide. There you go. We also did a chandelier in the ceiling, some roller shades that come down, but hello, what's not to love here? This uh, porcelainosa tile is amazing. I love it. And it gives it kind of a, I don't know, the tiki 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 room. I don't know, I think I'm a Disney fan somehow. And then is this just not the most amazing collectible designer surfboard? But my favorite thing of all time, and I hope my cameraman can pick this up, this area rug. And the fact that this area rug was cut so that and pushed right against the mirror makes it look huge. And I'm talking not little, not a little bit big. I mean, huge. I love the nightstands I chose here because they're actually metal. These things are Heavier than, I don't even know what adjective to use. Is it an adjective or a noun? Noun. Thank you. I don't know what adjective to use. <laughs> so when you come to a beach house, don't you want to just stay in a room, read a book, have a glass of wine, and go out on the beach and get some sun? Pretty much, and I think that's what our guests or their guests are going to do. Do you like this? I like this. This is really cute. You're about to see three of the smallest bathrooms I've ever designed in my entire career. Two up here and one downstairs. Let me show you guest bath one. Before I do, take a look at the before photos because I think you're gonna be shocked. And there's not enough room for both of us. Like I said, it's real small. So I'll step out, you take a look around. Yeah, just getting rid of all that drywall surround and the cute little arch thing that it had before made a big difference. I gotta say, one of my favorite things in the whole world is this faucet. This is by Kalista and you know what? It is a it's made by a 3D printer. Where does the water come from? That's a lot of water coming up in that little thing there. Just barely misses. <laughs> Did you see that? Watch. Oh, now that's some good design stuff, man. So now this custom piece, if you see it from the side, oh. Did you see that and you know why? This is Mr. Fancy Pants Toilet. When you get up and you're done and you're over here washing your hands, it's so, it's so smart, see? Did you see that? I want you to answer this question. Are you an over or are you an under person? Over or under? Now I'm not gonna answer the question because when I do, I know that I'm gonna lose 50% of my subscribers. <laughs> and I've worked too hard to reach a million, so I'm not losing one of you, but I would like you to leave me a comment below. When you to feel right, there, oh! Taking a grand bow, are you? We're gonna put that there so that the question remains. Leave me a comment below. Are you an under? Toilet paper person or an over, and if you got time, explain why. So basically you come out of bathroom one and you can just sort of roll into bathroom two. Now this used to have a really, really small sink here, tiny. 
So I had to keep a tiny one because look, there's not much room here. And I also wanted to have um, a great mirror, sconces on either side. I wanted to do something different. So this beautiful like white bisque sink that's a pedestal is great. So I took that into consideration. I got a wall mounted soap container and right here I had Oscar make me a wall mounted shelf for this and such. Best thing about it, take a look over here. This is a floor mounted faucet. You ever seen that before? A faucet that comes from the floor, not from the wall or not from the sink itself. Super cool, super sleek and modern. Can you imagine? Now, you can have this on this color thing where it rotates colors if you want, or you can set it on a color you want. All I could think of was, oh my gosh, that is so amazing. I love the red one. Don't you love it? How, I'm sorry, can I say this? How sexy, right? Are you wondering where their stuff is gonna go? So Rebecca, you gave them a spot for a soap bar. They have a place to put their shampoo and a place to put their phone. What about their curling iron or their flat iron? Well, they have a blow dryer. What more do they want? Yeah, but what if they need a band-aid or some cotton balls or what if they need some alcohol well there's a bar out there no i mean rubbing alcohol or sunscreen well maybe i just happen to think of that maybe i just happen to do this <laughs> largest medicine cabinet. You're welcome. All right, it's time to take a look at the master bedroom in the beach house. Before I show you, uh, let me show you the before photos. If you look at the before photos, do you see that their television used to be in an armoire kitty corner on the end of the room? This long, narrow room. Okay, get that picture in your mind of what it looked like before. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So I did a few things. Number one, I wanted it to be classy. Number two, I wanted it to be space efficient. I wanted it to be romantic and sexy, although I didn't tell my clients that, but. Who wouldn't want that, right? This is, uh, I think it's a 75 inch. Maybe it's a 65, I don't know, I don't have a tape measure. It's a good size television. It's seriously, literally recessed into the existing wall. Me, My very favorite thing in the entire room. And can I tell you, this, is what started the room design. One day soon, we got Have I showed you our absolutely coolest of cool door handles? One day. Two doors rather than one. one, day. one day soon. We have his and hers on both sides. We have places for shoes, places for undergarments, uh, nylons. Who wears nylons anymore? I don't know. This has mirrors on both sides so that you can look at yourself and instead of saying, honey, does this dress make my butt look big? You can look in your own darn mirrors and say, oh my God, I can't wear this. It makes my butt look big. Time for GB4. That's right, the fourth of the guest rooms. Now, this one is actually in the basement. So we're gonna have to go down the scary stairs. Have I told you about the scary stairs? Well, they're not to code because this was built so many years ago before that kind of thing was a thing. So in order to land at the bottom of the stairs at the right place and not in the wall, they had to scoot them back, which means they had to make them taller. 
You'll see what I mean. And looky here. Had I not cut this wall out here, you know, it wasn't cut out before. The wall was here. But then when you landed, you landed here, practically. So by just taking out four inches and pushing that wall back at the end of the staircase, I think it really helped. It also gave me a spot I could add a cool sconce. Since GB4 is downstairs in the basement right off the garage, I wanted to make sure that whoever was a guest in this room felt just as special as everyone who was sleeping upstairs. So I put extra thought and attention into GB4 and I have to be honest, it's one of my favorite rooms. So no more wah, 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 I got sent to GB4. No, GB4 is now super cool. I call this my garden room. It started with these really great botanical prints that I bought when we were up in Los Angeles shopping. I just thought, you know, those are so like vintage and cool and hip. Um, shades up. The room does actually lighten up considerably. On either side, we've got these great nightstands that have drawers and pull-out shelves, which is so efficient in a small space. So we've got this, looks like a plastered wall with the brick coming through. But here's the cool thing. Instead of doing one of the built-ins here, I did a free-floating garment rack, even a shower and bathroom caddy because wait till you see the bathroom that goes to this bedroom. It's so small. There's not a place in there to put anything. And for my last and foremost famous tiny bathroom trick, oh my gosh, this one is even smaller than the other two. I swear to God, I should do a video just on tiny bathrooms because right now I've got a lot of experience in them. Welcome into the tiny, tiny bathroom. Just to show you how small this bathroom is, there's no way we could possibly film it without you seeing Dorian. Honestly, this bathroom's no bigger than it was before. However, we did raise up this header. Super cool pedestal sink, beautiful faucets that are wall mounted. I used reclaimed wood tile on the back wall, which I think looks great. Oval mirror, two uh, pendant lights. My clients are almost here. All that to say, super small bathroom. However, I think we sorted, I think, hit it out of the park if you think about it. All right, this is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of this house. You know what, let's not close this out in this little tiny bathroom of all things. I'm in the hottest, smallest room in the entire house. No, we're gonna go close this out somewhere else. All right, the clients are 45 minutes away and it's time to set up the beach. The party's gonna begin before you know it. And tonight's the night. Wish me luck. I'm glad you guys enjoyed watching this today. For now, just know, I love you. Fingers crossed. Oh my God. First impression, yeah. awesome. This is amazing.